Cajita de Electronic Meeting Point, estamos con el señor Dash Berlin, a puntito de presentarse en la Ciudad de México, así que vamos a platicar un poco con él. So, how are you doing? How do you feel about being in Mexico again, Dash? Well, I'm absolutely excited to be here again. Uh, Mexico is a very special country to me, and uh, I'm hoping to have a great show tonight here in Mexico City. <laughs> know your your father was a drummer and and your sister she had tapes mixed tapes and and somewhere in between you decided to become a professional DJ and producer what can you tell us about it well it's not really a decision it it, it really evolved naturally um, I really am really really into music and it's not really dance music at first and that evolved in more electronic dance music eventually um, It wasn't really a choice, as that I, I, I feel it more as a calling that you know it came from itself. Uh, I started working in record shops so I could you know expand my passion, buy more records, you know, be full in the music. I met a lot of people in those days, a lot of DJs. You know, sometimes I uh, still meet when I travel around, so that's really cool. I, I met my producers in uh, in the record shop. And uh, finally, we started working on Till the Sky Falls Down in the, in the studio. And that kind of skyrocketed everything when Armin picked it up. And uh, one, one of the first outdoor, uh, outdoor uh, abroad bookings for me uh, outside of Holland, that's, that's Mexico. So that's why also Mexico is really special for me. Talking about the new daylight, uh, how do you feel about this record? That was your first record, and and it has amazing tracks in it. Well, I just try to do my best and to work out, you know, music as we, as good as we can with the, with the home team, as I call it. And um, still, the reactions, you know, come in by email or when I talk to people, they talk about the new daylight or United Destination, the mix compilation. And you know, it's it's just like we just discussed. I'm 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 really happy that people you know supporting and and, and like my music. Uh, talking about United Destination, it's a good point you you just said about it. Uh, this compilation, I, are you gonna have it every year? Do you thought about it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm already kind of working on it as we speak. So it's quite a hectic period right now. You know, I'm working on the album. I'm working on a new mix compilation. Uh, just finished a couple of remixes. They are uh, getting released somewhere this month. New single coming on. A lot of stuff happening right now. Okay, talking about the the new remixes. What can you tell us? What what are you working on? Uh, I did a remix for Filio and Perry, featuring uh, uh, Sarah Howells. Um, I did a remix for First Date, and that's just recently released. That's released this week, and um, yeah, I, I want to play that out too as well. Yeah. Talking about your label, how's it going and, and do you have any new talents uh, coming out soon? Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm you know, willing to expand the Europa Records label, absolutely. Uh, besides that, I found some talent indeed in, in the likes of uh, Paul Trainer, featuring At uh, and Antonio Lucas. I did a track released for them which was called uh, Rise. There's quite some talent out there, I have to tell you. So I'm really happy that I can share it with the, with the crowd. And there's a, a new release from a Turkish talent called Farouk Sabanchi coming out uh, in one and a half, two months. And that's called Jessica Sanctuary. It's going to be um, the, the Europa Records release after my single release with Emma Hewitt. So, talking about this Hema Hewitt, it, I know it's one of your favorite singers, we, know, we all knew that, but <laughs> how do you manage to, to choose the singer and who writes the songs? I think she has a really great personality and uh, 
I love working with her. She has a really angelic, beautiful voice, um, incredible talent, really strong female singer, uh, uh, you know, on the spot. Besides that, her and her brother are really good songwriters. So working back and forth with her and her brother, that's really easy to work with. Even when they are abroad or when they're in the studio, uh, me and my producers, it's, it's like um, two hands on one belly to work. It's, and she is so talented that, you know, it was a matter of time for us working together again. And, and your new release, just in, in January, you released the top 15. How do you manage to, to choose the songs that would be in this compilation? Uh, it's quite easy. Uh, I'm, I'm, when it comes to DJing and all the music around Dash Berlin, uh, I get everything in. So I'm, I'm listening, listening to maybe a couple of hundred releases every two weeks. From all those releases getting in, I'm picking out like the 15 I like most at that time. And that's what I'm uh, you know, putting out now on uh, iTunes as a top 15. It's a, it's a new feature, I think it's cool. It shows a little bit more than United Destination. United Destination was really a thing of DJ Dash Berlin, you know, what can you expect uh, of a set of Dash Berlin? Well, but now you can also, you know, follow every month by the top 15, you know, what are my likes and what is able to be expected in a Dash Berlin DJ set. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dash. Have a great night tonight. Muchas gracias. Ah, y continuamos aquí en Electronic Meeting Point. Hola, soy Dash Berlin, and you're watching Empo TV.